guys. Today is day three of working in the basement. So let's see how much we can get done. I think I'll be able to finish it most of the way today. Okay, so I will have all of my office stuff to straighten up, but I don't know if that's going to be part of the basement declutter because I really just need to straighten it up. I don't really have anything I need to get rid of. These are all empty boxes. This is all stuff that's going to friends. These are going to be thrown away, old pool stuff. And so, yeah, I have all of my candle stuff to do. What I really want to get done today is to <laughs> clean up these Christmas lights. When Aaron gets home tonight, I want him to go through these um, files. I want to put them in these two plastic uh, gray bins that we got for that because these boxes are kind of starting to fall apart. And I want to do this closet today, which is not going to be too bad, but I'm going to see what all is in here that we're keeping, what we need to throw out. So this is a closet I have not started on yet, but as you can see, it's not nearly as bad as the other closet. Somebody from Facebook coming for these two dresser sets. So hopefully that works out for them to take those two and then I give some more space in here. We This is our original dresser set from when we first got married, and we're just going to keep the two nightstands in the bed for when guests come. And this room was busting at the seams, but this is what it looks like now. This looks way better. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started on that second closet. See, I'm just gonna pull everything out. I did forget to vacuum in here when I had everything out. So I might run the vacuum through here really quickly. Kind of simple, kind of wishful about things. And you're kind of simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't wanna come back because you'd rather stay out with another. Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guides bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the Hello. way of how you dwell, I get it Oh, I'm so tired paper and it never really worked so I'm gonna goodwill that too I mean it worked as a steamer but it didn't really work for what we bought it for I guess it wasn't hot enough of a steamer this is a lapel mic where the heck did that come from that's interesting I don't remember ever seeing that so everything out here in the main area that you see is like all stuff from my Cricut machine and office supplies. So I decided to go through all of the artsy and Cricut stuff and kind of get that organized. And then I left the office supply stuff for Aaron to do when he got home from work because this was mainly from his office in our old house back in Louisiana. This is all of our beach stuff. This is all office stuff, which is going to go with this stuff. So I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm going to put this back in the closet. 
And then everything over here, I've just stacked. My husband needs to go through all of that stuff. Um, so this is basically done. I think that he'll be getting rid of uh, probably some of this old stuff. Um, but I'm just going to let him go through that when he gets home from work. So by this time, Aaron was home from work. So it was his turn to go ahead and take over in this closet. And then when he was done in here, he moved on to all of the office stuff in the main part of the house. So you guys will get to watch him for the next several moments of this video, just kind of going through decluttering, organizing, um, and seeing what all office stuff he wants to keep, what stuff just needs to be reorganized and what he needs to give to Goodwill. So he had some things from his office um, at his work. They were doing some construction. And so he had to bring home everything from his uh his cubicle at work and then some of it he wasn't going to be bringing back to work so he was kind of just going through some old coffee makers and things like that as well and then he moved on to all of the office supplies from our old house in louisiana To be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed so you guys will see the final shot in a moment, but Aaron was able to get this all condensed down quite a bit. And so it definitely feels nice to have it in these um, gray bins rather than in a bunch of like falling apart plastic boxes. And I actually didn't even realize, but one of my um, subscribers, Kathy, who's always commenting such sweet things on our videos, mentioned that cardboard boxes actually attract mice. And I did not know that. So I was already in the process of getting um, plastic bins to replace a lot of cardboard boxes for things that we have like just sitting around our house and now this gives me extra motivation to continue to do that because I did not realize that attracts mice into your home without you you can 
take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly Can take me high. Okay, so this is day four of cleaning up in the basement. So I'm gonna start by just doing tidy all around here, getting everything that's out in the middle of the floor, kind of pushed to the side and organized because it's all been gone through. Still need to see those lights, haven't done that yet. But then I want to organize all of my candle stuff and I actually will be done down here. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would can see I had the best little helpers on this day and it was kind of funny because when we got around to um, untangling the Christmas lights I don't know what it was but I was so frustrated I did not want to do it and Lexa was just so excited about it and she's like mom this is the most fun thing ever and it's funny how it just put a smile on my face and sometimes as moms I think you get so frustrated with what you have to do and then you see it through a kid's eyes and it's the most fun day ever. So um, I love to stop and try to have that perspective and especially with homemaking, it just can be so routine and mundane. And I tell you guys all the time, Groundhog Day, you know, you feel like you wake up and do the same thing every single day and nothing changes, but kids can just kind of change that perspective for you. So I love to try to stop and see things through their eyes from time to time. And it really is refreshing. It put a smile on my face this day when I was in like the worst mood. And for whatever reason, I just did not want to untangle those Christmas lights. I don't know. I think sometimes that's why the Lord tells us to be like little children everything is new and fresh in their eyes and I don't know it's just something special about having that childlike perspective sometimes so if you're enjoying this cleaning and decluttering motivation so far go ahead and give this video a thumbs up that really helps me out why you wanna let me go not now now are you saying that to change your mind for love or pity let me know not now now cause you love
Why are you playing? So here's the part of the video I was talking about where we start going through the Christmas lights. So we had to remove all the clips that was um, used to hold them onto the roof. Then we had to go through and untangle them. And then we had to go and put them back on these little spoolies. And like I said, not sure why this put me in such a bad mood on this day, but I just really did not want to do that. Give this a video a thumbs up if you know exactly what I mean. Sometimes the tasks that don't seem like that big of a deal, just you just have days where you do not want to do them. Comment down below and let me know when the last time that happened to you, what was it? What was a chore that you were like, I should not be this upset that I have to do this right now, but I just do not want to do this right now. And normally I don't want to do my bathrooms or laundry or something like that, but I don't get in like such a bad mood. Like it wasn't this day. I was like, just did not want to do it. I don't know what my deal was, but I was just having a rough day. And like I said, Lexa's sweet comment definitely turned that around. But yeah, it was just one of those days. I don't know what the deal was. Two buckets are trash. We do need to vacuum in here and in the back bedroom. And I need to straighten all of this up steel. So now I'm moving on to the exercise equipment and actually surprisingly did not have a lot to get rid of over here. I only just needed to straighten it up and kind of get it organized because my kids like to play with it. And so everything was spread around and then I needed to kind of dust the window in this corner and just get this area vacuumed. It was just a little bit dusty because as you can tell, it's just a dumping ground and no one really utilizes this corner other than my bike and my treadmill. <laughs> Boy, it's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can't handle this on and off I can't know I just gotta know where you are If I want to remain sane But you're ghosting and me text and call Oh no You could be running off with somebody else Tell me what's the hold up, baby Tell me why your phone's off Lately, I don't wanna go off Crazy, but I think I'm losing it Tell me where your heart is These days, are you being honest With me, I don't wanna go this Cray cray, but I think I'm losing it But I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it But I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it I've been staring at my phone too long Feel my eyes getting tired And the battery is long, long gone Oh no, no There is something you're not telling me But I can't wrap my head around it You said you and I were meant to be Last week You So hold up, baby Tell me why your phone's off Lately, I don't wanna go off Crazy, but I think I'm losing it Tell me where your heart is These days, are you being honest With me, I don't wanna go this Cray cray, but I think I'm losing it But I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it But I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it I think I'm losing it But my mind and I could free ourselves from agony but without you here it's hard to keep my thoughts so as you guys can see the last thing I needed to do in this main area was to go through and just vacuum everything and I needed to clean it out by the end of it I had so much hair and stuff in this vacuum cleaner I hadn't cleaned it out in quite a while so um, the faces I make here are kind of ridiculous um, again like I said I was in a bad mood on this day and you can tell by the faces I was making when I was cleaning out this <laughs> this um, 
the vacuum cleaner, I was like making the most disgusting faces. And then like, I went to uh, edit this video and I was like, what is this face? Like, what is that face? But I guess it just stunk. It was kind of like, you know how dust sometimes just stinks. And then I was like getting hair off the vacuum. And I don't know about you guys, but hair just grosses me out. And I always have a ton of it everywhere when I'm cleaning like the floors and stuff. And so, yeah, that's what those phases <laughs> were about. Uh, uh, uh. Every night I'm going on the grid Texting back, I want you Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Along with already being on like in a bad mood on this day, I think that I just got a lot of stuff done that like anti-procrastination day, I guess you could call it because I got so many things done that I had been putting off that I really needed to take care of. And so that might have been contributing to my bad mood. But in the end, I felt so much better because I had gotten it all taken care of. So, so many things that I'd just been putting off for so long. All right, so I need to ask my husband about all of these down here. Stuff for our girls' beds. So I don't know which ones are good um, and which ones need to be tossed. But yeah, this looks a lot better. That's all trash. This is kind of just organized a little bit better. I'm just gonna straighten up this area, then I'm gonna go back in the rest of the basement, and then I'll probably be done for today because I have friends coming over, and I need to get uh, my upstairs picked up as well because I've been neglecting that this week um, with doing all the stuff in the basement. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling your in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I lost you. Yeah, I lost you. Telling you that I need you. But you're off my radar now. quite a bit of trash that I ended up getting rid of in here from the candle area. I had like certain things that were empty that I had just been holding on to to remind me to reorder, but I kind of haven't really been doing my candle business um, anymore, and I'm probably going to turn it into just um, mainly making candles for myself because it wasn't something I was super passionate about, and it's a very hard thing to keep up with kids. And for me, my YouTube is what I'm really passionate about. So I'm choosing that to be my main hobby. And then the candles are just going to be whenever I want to make something for myself or a friend or something like that. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I
So at this point, my vacuum cleaner decided to go ahead and die on me, <laughs> but that's all right. I had gotten quite a bit done and I was basically finished in here. I just had a little bit more to do. Just wanted to give you guys one final overview the next day of how everything turned out once I was completely done with the basement. So we're done for now with the basement. Um, this is my big once a year, like total extreme clean declutter of this area and all of it looks so much better. It feels so nice to have it done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and this whole series. Check the link at the top if you guys are interested. I'll have some more videos on the screen for decluttering, organizing, um, homemaking, motivation. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.